So today, Nick and I are going to show you progress on the Unreal Editor in VR, running on Oculus Rift and Oculus Touch controllers for the first time. And this is a project I'm really excited about because we think it's the first time that a full proven 3 ed editing software has been adapted for VR. So with, in, uh, up here we have the regular 2D editor, and it's the full editor. This is not like any, um, it's the editor that you use to the same UI. And with a single click of a button, Nick can switch into VR mode, and you can go back and forth, back and forth. So what we're going to show you today, there's a few things. We're going to show you how to navigate easily and intuitively in VR. We're going to show you the basics of editor UI. We're going to show you how to interact and place objects. So Nick, why don't you show them how you can navigate the scene? Absolutely. So I'm one-to-one -one in this you know, Western street scene right now. Um, I can grab onto the world and slide it along like this. Everything's one-to-one. -one. I can kind of walk around like Spider-Man like this. Another thing I can do is to pinch and zoom the whole world, just like you would on an iPad or an iPhone. The sense of scale here is really incredible when you do this. And now the whole scene is the size of a tabletop. I can spin it around like this, zoom in, look around, and position myself really easily. You can slide it around like this. And it's quite comfortable because it really feels like the world here is moving on a tabletop rather than the fact that I'm actually moving at all. Yeah, you know, the key to this is just one-to-one -one controls. You, you feel like you're dragging the world through your tracking space. It's really, really interesting. Cool, so why don't you show them how you can place some objects in the scene? Absolutely. So I can bring up this little UI just by pointing either hand at the other. So and you I kind of have like an editor browser. toolbar on your hand. Yeah. And so here's the content browser. So I can actually drag a mesh straight into the world like that. Spin it around. Let's put together a little scene. I feel like we need an extra building here. So I can place things straight from the content browser. And like any good level designer, I just steal things from around the place. <laughs> so again, the controls when you're placing things and interacting with things, it's very one-to-one. -one. You're just grabbing things with your lasers and moving them. Nick can grab objects with two hands and freely rotate and scale them. This scale, rotate. It's pretty cool. <laughs> OK, so obviously you need a lot more than this to actually make something in VR. So why don't you show them how you can access the rest of the editor UI in VR? The single button press, I can beckon and hide the rest of the Unreal UI like this. So this is the same level editor UI that you'd see when you boot the editor up all around you. And you can see Nick has the power to kind of customize his workspace. So this is actually the details panel here. So I can select something, scroll around like this. You know, it's just, just like it is in the normal editor. I can find this material in the content browser. Actually, just open it right up. It's the material editor in VR. <laughs> cool, so Nick, what else can we do here? So you can actually just go up, open the blueprint as well. So now we have blueprint visual scripting also in VR. So you can see it's the full editor. And what we're doing is we're bringing you the full power of Unreal Editor right to VR, um, which we're really happy about. So this is really just the beginning, and we want to take you guys along with, with us for the ride. So what we're doing is we're making the whole source code for this available right now on GitHub. You can go there and get it today. If you have motion controllers, you can try it today right at home. And send us your feedback on, on realengine.com. We're going to have a full binary preview of this available in early June. But until then, try it now and give us your feedback. Um, we'll have it running in our booth. So come check it out. Thank you very much.